All the scores, all the highlights, all the fans. This is Friday Night Football on NBC 25. Good evening and thank you for joining us for round three of the high school football playoffs. The MHSAA has divided the quarterfinals evenly into two days for the first half of action was tonight. And as usual, the action was intense. Michigan Lutheran Seminary went into Elkton Pigeon Bayport in a battle of two of the best Division 7 programs in the state. The Lakers made, made it to this point in the season unbeaten, and the Cardinals' lone loss came at the hands of Ithaca nine weeks ago. Tonight, the two teams collided in the cold out in the thumb. These two teams actually never met in the regular or the postseason before. We're going to pick this up in the first quarter with Seminary up 7-0, and they're looking for more. Leading rusher Owen Hine throws down a couple of moves and gets free up the sidelines. He would go 48 yards before being brought down inside the 10-yard line. That would lead to this. Nathan Lindloff rolls to his right and finds a wide open Casey Williams across the middle. Williams strolls into the end zone to make it 14-0 Cardinals. On the ensuing drive, MLS is facing a fourth and 13. They go to the screen pass to Benjamin Berger. He's going to truck up the middle and stretches the ball across the goal lines of the Cardinals. Extend the lead to 21-0. On the next Laker drive, quarterback Dustin Cady Goes to, the, goes to the area, looking for Brennan Wisner, but he overthrows him. The ball lands into the awaiting large of Casey Williams, who takes it back to the 46-yard line before getting dumped out of bounds later in the quarter. The Cardinals with the ball again. MLS takes to the air as Lindelof finds Williams on a pretty path. Williams picks up a few more yards before being dragged down from behind. It's first and goal Cardinals, but actually they fail to score. Later in the second quarter, the Laker offense wakes up. Katie, Katie calls his own number, breaks the tackle, and he's off to the races. He would go 42 yards before being hauled down inside the five-yard line. And then two plays later, it's Katie again. This time he's going to lower his shoulder and barrel into the end zone for what would be Elkton Pigeon Bayport's only score of the game. Michigan Lutheran Seminary wins a big one on the road, 44-8. Flint Powers Catholic at Lansing Catholic. We're going to pick this up in the first quarter. Second on second one on the 35. Drew Gedeke escapes the tackle, charges into the end zone, but not before he's stripped of the ball. Luckily, Gedeke recovers for him on the one-yard line. Next play, Gedeke goes up the middle again. This time he tiptoes into the end zone for the touchdown. The PAT's no good, so it's 6-0 Lansing Catholic. Still in the first quarter again on second and goal. Gedeke keeps it again, dives across the goal line this time to make it 12-0 Lansing Catholic. Powers Catholic strikes back as Joe Sargent hands off to John Andrzejczyk, who gets brought down inside the three-yard line. That would lead to this. Sargent for the quarterback keeper. He strikes Pater as the Chargers cut the lead to five. On, se on to the second quarter we go. Second and ten, Gedeke fakes the handoff, throws to a wide open Michael Lindbergh, who takes it to the house. And that's going to extend the Lansing Catholic lead later in the quarter on, on the two-point conversion attempt. Gedeke with a bullet to Zach Baker. Powers Catholic season is officially over as they fall on the road 49-21. to New Lothrop visiting Loyola down in the D tonight in the cold. First quarter, Bulldogs came to play. Ben Murin drops back, tries for the screen pass, but Patrick Heron picks him off. That would lead to this. Loyola's Marvin Campbell gets caught up in the pack, but he manages to break free. And just like that, it's 6-0 Bulldogs. Turnover's the difference early on. 14-0 Loyola. Murin's exchange in the backfield goes awry. Jawan Davis scoops up the loose ball and takes it in from about 20 yards out. It's 20-0 Loyola at that point. <coughs> but the Hornets weren't giving up. Fourth and long, Murin pitches to Caleb Simmons, who dives in for the score, and that's going to cut the lead to 20-7. And then late in the second quarter, 33-14 Bulldogs, Murin scrambles, goes up top looking for his favorite target, Logan Van Sermon. And Van Sermon makes the pretty catch and picks up a huge chunky yardage. He would finish the drive with a short touchdown run. The Hornets trailed 33-20 to at the break. Third quarter, all Loyola. Nicholas Lee is going to go up top to Anthony Frierson for the 34-yard score. New Lothra falls to Loyola 60-26 for their final game of the year. Baldwin at Beale City tonight. First quarter, the snow was flying, and so was Chase Rowland. He's going to get outside and go 50 yards right down the field. The first score of the game will go to the Aggies. They follow up with a field goal to put Beale City up early in the game. The Panthers will get <coughs> possession, and quarterback Brandon Childress can't find a receiver. He gets caught up in traffic, lodges it to his brother Brenton, who spins away from the Aggie defense and manages to get the first down. Under five minutes remaining in the first quarter with 70 yards to go. Panthers... Throw a Hail Mary 
sort of, but it's caught by Brandon Bean and then immediately stripped by Zach Natzel. The pass is incomplete after the turnover. Alex Matthews paves a roadway for Luke Farrell. He gets the first down for the Aggies in the second quarter. Aggies have 12 0. Tucker Gross makes a beautiful pass to the open receiver, Brad Moore, who gets pulverized by the Panther, def Panther defense, but it's the first down. Beale City goes on to win 28 0. Take a look at our plays of the night tonight, starting with MLS at Elkton Pigeon Bayport. Late in the quarter, the Cardinals with the ball again. MLS goes to the air as Nathan Lindlop finds Casey Williams with a pretty pass, who picks up a big, big chunky yardage. MLS wins 44-8 on the road. Baldwin at Beale City. Quarterback Brent Childress couldn't find an open receiver, so he tries, pitches it to Duran Copeland. It's intercepted by, in midair by the Aggies. They would score after the turnover. Beale City wins 28-0. New Lothrop at Loyola, second quarter, Bulldogs up 33-14 when Ben Muren scrambles, goes up top for Logan Van Sermon with a pretty catch, the big pickup, New Lothrop. Season is over, they're 11-1 the year after they lose to Loyola. That is going to do it for us this evening. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night when we bring you highlights of Saginaw Valley State and Grand Valley State, and those teams renew their rivalry, plus the Saginaw Spirit take on Oshawa. NBC 25 News at 11. We'll be right back with your last look at your forecast. Stay with us.